Hi all, I'm Jeanette Keynes from Jewelry Arts Inc. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to prong set a beautiful rose cut sapphire. This is in that gorgeous molten setting that I've been showing you how we did in the studio and Susan did a fantastic job on the whole thing. Look, I'm so excited. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's a, uh, depending on your point of view, either a pink sapphire or a ruby. You know, sapphire is what a ruby is, but when it gets to a certain level of pink, you know what I, I mean? It becomes that. a ruby. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the same thing. This is, I would say, a pink sapphire, but definitely people do argue about the distinction, but it's the same substance. Uh, we've got our cute little prongs all soldered in place, which I'm sure you remember us doing. They're kind of trimmed down. Now we're going for sort of, because this whole ring is kind of organic and juicy, we're not going for a super like pristine look. We're going for a little more random. So we've left these sort of different lengths and stuff like that. Uh, but normally when I do something like this and I set it, I literally just use a dowel. It doesn't slip very much. And the thing with a prong like this also is like, if this is your prong, you don't want to take your tool and just like press on it like that because then just the end will hold it. What you want to do is push it from the bottom. I can't bend my finger that way. Let me do it the other way. <laughs> Not a idea. And start from the bottom, right. do you know what I'm saying? And curve it over like that because you don't want just the very end grabbing it. You want the whole prong as much as humanly possible. So let me show you how that looks. Uh, as always, I'm going to put a finger or a thumb on the stone because you know those little stinkers love to hop around. I'm going to stand up because I'm short. And I'm going to put, you see this, all the way at the bottom. Wait, let me squeeze this a little more tightly so that it won't go anywhere. They are the shit. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, right there. So down at the base and then... You see how you roll that forward? Now I'll do a little bit more right at the tip, but basically that's what you're looking to do. You're looking to get sort of like maximum contact. It's, um, it'll hold your stone much better. You see what I mean? Okay, so just remember, you don't do this. You don't just grab the end and push. You put it all the way at the bottom and then we're gonna roll that forward. So I'm gonna do the one on the other side. Like so. And at the very end when we're all done, we'll use um, a Swifty wheel and polish those little edges so like it doesn't stick up. I mean, wood dowels, I mean, I'm always talking about how I use them for everything, but you really use them for everything. <laughs> They're so <laughs> handy. Okay, you can see like that. And already the stone isn't moving, which, yay. But that's the biggest mistake that people make is they just go like, okay, here I go, you know, and sort of squish it down instead of rolling it along the prong. Usually then I'll go almost like straight up and down just on the very ends and press a little and look at it and just give it a little more zhuzh if okay. it needs it. But then honestly, the next step is just a little bit of polishing. It's really pretty fast and easy to do. Uh, like a lot of things, it's all about the prep work and then the, that last step doesn't take long at all. We didn't really bother to taper the ends very much because we're just going to do that with our polishing wheel anyway. I just love this. This is so nice. Look at that. He's so pretty. So then we're going to uh, get a Swifty wheel on the flex shaft. I'll show you how to clean this up a little bit and then you're done. Okay. Yay! Great. So exciting. 
So we just started cleaning up the prongs, but I'm gonna give you a little demo. Basically, I just use um, a wheel out of my bezel settings polishing kit to clean up that top and make sure there's nothing sharp to catch. So I'll give you a little demo. Because this wheel won't hurt your stone, I can just do it like this. And kind of shave it down. You see what I mean? So that it tapers toward the stone. See how that polishes it up and then there's not like a, a little extra metal sticking up there. So I'll do a little bit on, on all of these, but they, it doesn't really require a whole lot of cleanup. And then we'll just take a little Dawn and a toothbrush. And it's ready to wear. See what I mean? Just like that. Yeah, it looks fantastic. So let's go clean it up and then we'll do a final shot.